you did not want to know how long it took for me to find a Harry Potter themed shirt for this video. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm back with another video. It's been a while and I'm really trying to catch up in my video plans. Yes, I do plan with video I do in what order. Because it really helps me organize and know what video I'm supposed to do. For this video, I was tagged by She is Such a Lauren. Which I have to say, thank you for allowing me to try out this video because I've been having a shortage of videos on what to do. Just like in every other tag video, down in the description below, I will have the person who tagged me and the video I was tagged in, the questions. So, without further ado, let's begin. <laughs> The first set of questions are just general questions. Question number one is, what is your favorite book? My favorite book is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I feel like the first book is always the one that to mostly sometimes draw you in the most. So when I read this book, I think I read it within three days uh, from the day that I got it. Because that's how I was drawn into it. No one in the book that really drawed me in. Like, the first. Okay, question number two. Least favorite book. It would be the last one. Definitely Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows. Not because I just didn't like it. It was because it was the first book that I started with. Instead of the first one. If you guys saw one of my earlier videos, then you know that I don't like starting series out of order. That was the main reason that I just didn't like that book because if I would have started it in order, then probably I would have liked the book a lot more better. Question number three. Favorite movie. My favorite movie of all eight of them would be um, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Not the regular version, the extended version that shows a lot more on ABC Family, or now known as Freeform. I really liked this movie because it was just really, in my opinion, caught my attention more out of all the movies. That was one movie that I could just watch over and over again and not get bored of it. Question number four. Least favorite movie. It will be Prisoner of Akabazan. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. It's not because I didn't like the movie itself. It's because I could not understand what was going on. Mostly probably because the time I saw it, I didn't exactly get the chance to read the book. But probably if I rewatched it, I might have different opinions now because I actually read that book now question number five favorite quote i honestly don't have one so now we are moving on to the characters part question number six favorite weasley it would be percy you know the one that was in um hogwarts way before ron and along with fred and george I don't know why, but I just liked his character in general. There was just something about his character. Not only in the books, but in the movies as well. Question number seven. Favorite female character. It would be Luna Lovegood. I love how weird and unique she is. And she just owns it, you know. She doesn't hide it. And all the things she talks about is just really interesting. As you can tell, I even got her wand from Universal Studios when we went to f Florida for vacation. See? I even just love her wand, too. I got the one that does magic, actually, but I never got the chance to use it. Question number eight. Favorite villain. I'm gonna say Beatrice Strange. 
Mostly because the actor who plays as her in the movies, Helen, I am a huge fan of the actress. And also the character, something about her just intrigues me. There was just something about her personality that really brought to me to her attention, especially the clothes she wears. Question number, it would be Oliver Wood, the head of Gryffindor Quidditch team. You gotta admit, for someone who's really into Quidditch, he really stuck by with Harry Potter when he was first learning how to be a seeker. I think that's what really caught my attention for Oliver. Especially in the book more. I liked him more in the book than the movie for some reason. I think his personality was more shown there than in the movie. Question number 10. Favorite professor. Can I say Sna Snape? I think the fact how, the, how into he was into potions really brought to my attention because I'm more intrigued with characters who can really stand behind what their interest is. For him, it was potions. Even though he wanted to be the, the defense against dark magic, I felt like his true passion was potions. Like, it was just something that really drawn to me. Okay, we're at the would, the would you rather part of the video. Would you rather watch Snape tear or be spend a day listening to Lockhart rant about himself? Dang, um, I wouldn't want to touch anyone's hair because I don't feel right. If it's not my own, uh, I feel like I would mess it up personally. So I think I'd rather spend a day listening to Lockhart rant about himself. I'm very good at blocking out people after a while because I'm a huge daydreamer so even if I'm not into the conversation I would have started drifting off him just written about himself anyway question number 12 would you rather do an elated Bellatrix or angry Molly dang I think we could to do both of them why not like of course Bellatrix was killed off by Molly, but I feel like both of them. I'm sorry, I can't choose between either or. I'm gonna say both first. So I think it would be cool to just try, even if I probably use my both. I think it would just be a cool experience by itself. Question number 13. Would you rather travel to Hogwarts by the, the Hogwarts Express or be a flying car? I would choose Hogwarts Express, mostly because it's, mostly because of the, the trolley, the idea of just being able to order snacks. I just love me some snacks. The flying car sounds cool, but I don't think I would know how to work it. Question number 14. Would you rather kiss Voldemort or give Umbridge a bowl bath? Who is Umbridge? Who is this Umbridge? I don't know who is this Umbridge. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know who Umbridge is. And since I don't know who Umbridge is, I'm probably gonna go with a Kiss Voldemort. Because at least I know Voldemort. And plus, it's not specific. They don't mean the version of him as... Lord. It can mean also when he was Tom Ritu. Most likely probably just the kiss on the cheek. I'm not purging for lips. Question number 13. Would you rather ride a hippogriff or ride a firebolt? Hmm... I feel like I would be like Neville Longbottom when he first attempted to ride a broom and probably fall off as soon as I try getting on the firebolt. I will fail at that whole because I'm not really good with balance, but probably after a while I would get it, but mostly I would want to ride a hippogriff. I would love to experience how it is. Although I feel like no matter what I ride, I would either, either accidentally fall off <laughs> for some reason. Okay. Now we're at the book to movie adaptations part of the tag. Question number 16. Is there a character which you felt differently about in the movies versus books? I would say the main I would say Harry Potter. In the movies they show they don't exactly show how he truly shows about being the chosen one. 
in the movies, they didn't even show how in the books, he just personally did not want to be the chosen one. He just wanted to live as a normal kid, uh, have a normal family, but instead he's thrusted into this life where he is the chosen one for surviving Voldemort's attack when he at when he attacked his parents. I felt like you got that more from the books than the movie, even though I didn't really read that far in the books, but it was just a major difference. Question number 17. Is there a movie you preferred instead of the book? I would say Goblet of Fire, even though I haven't really read it, but I seem to have liked the movie better than the book because I, the movie just caught my attention way more than the book. Question number 18. Richard Harris or Michael Gambon uh, as Dumbledore? I didn't really notice the difference between either or. So I'm pretty sure it doesn't really matter to me. Number 18. Your person, your top thing, personal event, which wasn't included in the movie that annoyed you the most. I don't really know this. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to skip this. Question number 20. If you could remake any of the Moot Potter movies, which would it be? I'm sad to say the last part. Definitely Hollows Part 2. I feel like that. I feel like... That movie should have just been remade. I don't know. It was just something about it that fell off to me. Okay, now we're at the actual Hogwarts part. Question number 21. Which house was your first gut feeling you'd be part of? I thought uh, back then if you would have asked me, I would have said Slytherin. I don't know. I just felt like that whole house just described me back then but now I'm, I'm thinking more Ravenclaw or I could say both because I feel like both of those houses just show just describe my personality as a whole it's not that I didn't think that I was good for Gryffindor I just I just don't know I just didn't feel like it described me or help both those two houses just didn't feel like they represent question number 22 which house were you actually sorted into on Pottermore or any other w online sorting quiz? I was actually sorted into Potter on point Pottermore, Ravenclaw, which one of my predictions was right. I just had a feeling that I would be part of that. But when I joined this other site called Hex RPG, which is like this online RPG site where you get to go to classes like Hogwarts and stuff. I was sorted into Slytherin, most likely probably because of how I described myself back then versus now. Question number 23. Which class will be your favorite? Herbology. I don't know why, but I feel like just the uh, learning of plants and how to grow them and stuff, even though I usually am not into plants. Question number 24. Which spell would you like, would you think would be useful to learn? Uh, off the bat, I don't know any of these, so I'm probably going to skip this one. Question number 25. Which Hogwarts, which character do you think at Hogwarts you'll be instantly become friends with? I'm probably going to be a little biased and say... Loon love good. I I just feel like somehow we get along. For the last part of the tag questions are miscellaneous, just like whatever topics. Okay, question number twenty six. If you could own any of the three hollows, which would it be? Um, again, I'm gonna skip this one because I don't know what the three hollows are. Question number twenty seven. If there. Is there any aspect of the books you want to change? This can be a character, an event, anything. Honestly, I would change the fact that Harry Potter lost his Parsuton. I know he got it from Voldemort when he attacked him, became a part of him. But I feel like that aspect, the fact that he was able to talk to snakes, especially in the first movie and book, 
which were his first person that actually talked to him and treated him like a person, was a snake that he found in the zoo. That's what I think one aspect that I would just like to see stay throughout the books. Number 28, favorite mother. Yeah, I'm going to skip this one too. Question number 29. If you could bring any... If you can bring one character back to life, which would it be? It would be Hedwig. That I just liked Harry Potter's pet owl. And finally, the last question for this tag. Hollows or Harkness's? Yeah, I'm skipping this one too. I have no clue what I or is. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Because I really enjoyed answering all the questions. Even though I didn't know some of them. And see you guys in the next one.